can navigate with three internet browsers, Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Google Chrome. Down here are the same icons in the navigation bar. If you're doing it within the screen itself, you have to double click. We'll double click on Firefox. And what you'll see at the top is the home pages that are set up for my Firefox. These are all the tabs. You can click here to close a tab. Then you can click here to add a new one. And we're going to go over to this folder and select one that I've set up. And this becomes a new tab. Now, if you wanted to, go to Tools, Options, and then you can use the current set of tabs as your home page. I'm going to click on the OK button. Then I'm going to go up and scroll and close this window. Then I'm going to go down to the navigation bar. The navigation bar, then I'm going to click on Google Chrome. It opens a new window. And you'll see two tabs. Click on the second tab. I'm going to close that. Then I'm going to open a new one. And I'm going to add one that I already have set up in my folders. Then the next thing I do is go over to this icon, click on it, and you see options. And you can see that you can set that up, which I did, and then click on close. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to scroll down and open it again. And it takes you to the new home pages. What I'm going to do now is scroll over, click on this icon, which is to restore down, which reduces the size of the window. Then what you can do is click on that icon again and it opens to a full window. Then you click here and it would minimize and it takes you down to the navigation bar. Now I'm going to open up the third option, Internet Explorer. When you open up Internet Explorer, you have home pages again if you set up two tabs. Clicking on this one gives me the second one. And then what I can do is close that. And let's open a new tab. And let's say I'm going to set up a new set of home pages. Go down to favorites and select a folder and select a site and do that and you think about it and say, oh I don't want to do this so I want to go back to the original so you click on your home scroll over and you'll see this little icon it looks like a home and when you click on that it automatically takes you back to what you were before so now I'm going to set up a new home pages and so I click on here and I get a blank page so I can use that for Google search go over to tools select internet options and use current and then click on OK once you do that it sets up your home pages again I'm going to close that window. When I close that window, then what I'm going to do is go down and it says close all tabs. Go down and open Internet Explorer again. And you'll see that's your home pages that you recently set up. Click on Tools again, Internet Options, and you can use back default. Well, what was the default set up? And this was for Google. I'm going to cancel that. Then I'm going to go ahead and close this tab. I'm going to go back to the first tab. Then what I'm going to do is make this larger. The way you do that is put on the control button and then you use the scroll on your mouse. It's pretty amazing and what it enables you to do is make this larger. Most websites have a navigation bar at the top, which you see here. 
Then you have subpages underneath that navigation bar. So if we click on one, like Meetings, it then shows you that information associated, and that's considered a page. I click on About Us, and you'll see again more subpages. If I click on Officers, it shows you that page. If I click back here on About Us, it takes us back there. The next thing is that um, what you can do is you can scroll down when you're seeing a particular page, for example, like this one. And at the bottom, a lot of websites have what's called footers. Click on Home, and it takes you back to the home page. On the home page and on the other pages, you'll see things like meetings and others. Those are all links, so if you clicked on meetings, it would take you there. And over here, you see here, if you clicked on that, it would take you to another page. If you clicked on PDF form, it actually opens up a new window. And that new window then displays that PDF form for troubleshooting requests for that particular website. It takes a little while for it to open up, uh, sometimes depending on the size of a particular form like this PDF form. Then you'll see that it opens up. And then you can scroll down, for example, in that particular new page. Next, we're going to close that page. And then we're going to go over to Computer Basics. Next, you click on Definitions. And this is a, a page that has different types of navigation on it. For example, you have links here. And if you click on one, for example, desktop computer it takes you down that page to a specific part. Click on back to the top of the page and it takes you back here. Then the other thing that you can do is click on another one, like window, it takes you down there, and you scroll down and you see the footer again at the bottom. You then can scroll up using the bar on the right hand side as you see we're moving up using that. And when you get up to the top, you're going to see links to over different sites. So if I click on this one, it's going to open up a new window. And you, then what you can do is go up here and click on this and open up a full window. Scrolling down, you can see this has different types of navigation. I'm going to close that and click on Keyboard Definitions open this in a full window, and this has different navigation through icons. If you click on one of the keyboard ones, it takes you down to the definition, go back to the keyboard, and then you can click on another one, for example, like W, takes you down, describes that, again, go back to the keyboard, um, and back to the keyboard, and I'm going to scroll up. Then what I'm going to do is restore down by clicking here, then you'll see at the bottom another scroll bar that moves it back and forth. Now I'm going to close that window. And then I'm going to go to Tutorials, which has similar navigation to Definitions. And I'm going to click on Computer Desktop Introduction. It takes you down to a video. If you clicked on that, it would start the video. I'm going to go back to the top of the page. Then scroll down, you'll see the Video Display Tips, which shows you how to do things as uh, associated with uh, playing the videos. I'm going to then click on this and it will then display quickly my video, which you can see now. And then I click to open the full screen. And I click Escape. And then I'm going to click on here to pause. Next thing I'm going to do is click on back to the top of the page. I'm then going to scroll up so that you can see the header of this page. And that finishes the video. I appreciate you watching my video. Thank you.